three ways to get over your ex. Now, the first one, and this is the first step I want to see you guys do, is to cut off all connections. Okay, I don't want you having her number. I don't want you following her on her Instagram, Snapchat. I don't care what it is. Cut off all connections. Okay, don't block her. That just looks like you got butthurt at the end. We don't want to look butthurt. Okay, but cut off all connections. If you're cool with her friends, cut those off too. If you're cool with her mom, cut, cut her off too. I don't care who you're cool with. But just cut off all connections. The way you get over her is by not even seeing her face somewhere. You got to forget about it. Okay? You got to go move on with your life. I promise you, she getting clapped by somebody else. I can promise you that. Okay? The fact that you're not getting new cheeks means something. That means you're still a dork when you dated her and you can't get nothing new. Now, the reason you need to cut off all connections is because once you see that story, that Snapchat story of her going to the theaters, going to the movies, you're going to be thinking, oh, who's she going with? I might need to call her back. Somebody else is clapping her. Yeah, I know those horny days when it's 12 a.m. and then you're missing her. You're thinking about those FaceTime calls. You're thinking about all that. You're like, damn, I really miss her. Damn, but she went out to the movies with that guy. I'm about to call her back and try to get her back. No, 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 no. Okay, you got to cut off everything. Okay, you don't want to be seeing her story. And then you get about her. And then you start beefing. And then you start posting. All right, that's just, you just beta. That's just beta. You're just showing off that you're but her. You gotta cut off all connections it also gives her more mystery about you okay the fact that you were telling her all of your information in the relationship and now she knows nothing about you that gives her more interested that means you're luring her in more to you okay i'm not saying go back with her maybe clap her once or twice again if she comes back but yes that's the first one is to cut off all connections because you don't want to be on 12 a.m horny and hit coming back to her like a story all right, now the second way to get over your ex is you must focus on your goals. In general, you should be focusing on your goals. More specifically, you should be thinking, all right, why did she leave me? Why wasn't I good enough? Was it I didn't have enough money? Was, it, was I too fat? Was I too short? Whatever it may be, you need to realize and focus on, all right, what can I do so this won't happen to me in the future? You need to realize and need to think about what can I do so I could be in the position to break up with a girl, not the opposite way where a girl could break up with me. So you should be focusing on first your physical. You should be strong and you should be attractive physically. Number two is you should be financially stable. You should have a stable lifestyle. You shouldn't be asking other people for a ride, for gas money, for food, whatever it may be. You should be on your own terms. You should be living your whole life on your own terms. So the major reason on why, on why that girl left you is most likely because you don't have your life in order. Once you have your life in order, it will be really hard. I'm telling you, it will be really hard for the girl to leave you. She must be a hoe if she's going to leave you. Because if you have your life in order, you have your physical in, in order, you have all these things in order and you're stacking up, stacking up, stacking up, I don't know why your girl will leave you, to be honest. Either she a hoe, she's just like getting piped by somebody else. She's like bouncing on a different guy and a different guy. But like I said, what you need to do is to focus on your goals and to focus on achieving a new lifestyle so that way it won't happen again in the future. And the third one, the last one, and you should be doing this after the first week of cutting her off is get some head get a new one get a new girlfriend all right get some head i promise you you'll be over it in the next two or three days you'll be over it you won't even be crying you will a tub of ice cream in the couch okay if you're getting some head and you're getting some new cooch then why would you even be thinking about her there's no way her cooch is better than anybody else's okay kelly jenner came up to you right now and said hey yo you want some cooch you're gonna forget about that girl okay let's be honest here but the third thing you should do it's to get a new one. I'll recommend in the first week. Are uh, you a real player? And you'll probably be getting one in the next four days. You should be getting one on the next four days. I don't care how much you loved her. Oh, my parents met her. Oh, my, my whole brother and everybody thought that she was good for me. I don't care if she know how to cook five-star meals. I don't care if she know how to cook, clean the whole house in an, in an hour. I don't care what she know how to do. You got to get a new girl. And you got to cut it everything off from photos that you have with her, everything. Okay, so that's the third thing is to get a new one.